r slash ask reddit. What's your most wanted XL fantasy? Just really passionate aggressive X honestly. A few hot friends are sleeping over, and we stay up really late and accidentally oversleep, so we all have to shower together to save time. Chicken on a tire swing. I lay under it. Peen hard. Inserted. Spin that tire swing. Getting a BJ by two girls, while drinking a vanilla milkshake, and not feeling stomach pain while doing it. I'm lactose intolerant. Talk dirty in a foreign language, while kissing my neck. Foursome with my coworkers in the back room. I work at Starbucks, and I'm the only guy. Hot steamy ex that is not interrupted by kids or pets. Ducked by a professor for better grades. Almost getting caught giving him head under his desk then being dominated, being roughly handled against his desk in the classroom. A big titty edge Errol feeds me snacks, while we watch Avatar The Last Airbender and afterwards there are no crumbs on the sheets. A super attractive woman who's taller than me, I'm 6 feet 2, being dommy all over. She ducks me silly, and I'm little spoon for the night. She makes me feel small slash insignificant. But still at the end of the night she loves me. I'm the dom in our relationship, but sometimes I really want her to take charge. Always being the responsible one can get tiring after a while. She tried topping me once, and she was very uncomfortable with it. Being tied to a bedpost and fed pasta. DKY. But me and another girl. Preferably someone I adore. Giving a BJ together, and kissing at the top when he comes. Then we all make breakfast naked in the kitchen. Giggling and touching butts. Basic. But so much harder to achieve than you would think. I'm shy and I have wilder fantasies plenty often, but this one is at the top of the list for some reason. X with a woman, who is attracted to me. Attainable, a curvy woman. Taller than me. That lets me experiment on her with an arsenal of X toys, until she's a shuddering mess. Unattainable, a dragoness. I'm kind of ashamed of it. But I want to be used like a X slave. I'm a woman and I would love you to just once be able to have X as a man. I'm dying of curiosity. Must be wicked rad the way dudes are after it non-stop. To be able to come during X. No. Seriously. It's never happened. I've had threesome several times through the past 9 years, but I've always fantasized about having my boyfriend duplicated. Not different guys but all him. With everything. The bedroom knowledge. Knowing how I tick. Just overwhelming attention on the best level. I once had a dream that an older gentleman, in 30s, he was probably 40s or 50s, propositioned me by suggesting he duck my brains out. I turned him down and told him it was because his house was a mess. He promptly started cleaning up his house. I've never been more turned on and I still think about it to this day. I want a threesome with two midgets standing on each other's shoulders wearing a trench coat, like they are trying sneak onto an adult roller coaster. Holding hands. With another woman, dad lesbian stuff. I'd like to edit that I fantasized about one particular girl. And I'm B, but already in a relationship with someone else. So it's only a fantasy for me. Having X with a man that I feel safe with. That makes me feel like he is actually attracted to me. And finds me as worthy of being cherished as I find him. And will actually take the time to make sure I enjoy myself during X as well. I don't even need to orgasm each time. Just so long as I don't feel like I was used as a masturbation aid when he is finished. Having a girl just lie on top of me. No need for X or anything. Just the weight of her body. The slow cadence of her breathing. The calm assurance that she is mine and I'm hers. Maybe I'd say something. Maybe she'd laugh. And I'd feel it through her dire from resting against my own. Even if it was just a little snicker. Inaudible. But no less palpable through the thin layers of pajamas that separate us. Can you tell I'm a virgin? Never again sorting comments by controversial. I don't know why. And I can't explain it. But me and another dude. Banging my wife. The thought of her getting pounded by me and some other dude is a massive turn on. Will it ever happen? Duck no. And I know that. She's aroused by the thought. I'm aroused by the thought. And after we both get off. 
the old post nut clarity kicks in, and at that point neither of us wants it, and would probably wouldn't be able to handle it afterwards. So it will stay. As fantasy. For us to talk about during foreplay. My wife says, hot. It's watching me. Go down on another woman, while I'm fully clothed, and the woman is naked. I can feel her up. But I can't have X with her. Or touch myself, while going down on her. I can only pleasure her, while my wife watches my do it. Plenty of fan stases. But something small that is kinda realistic I really want them to accidentally break something whilst everything's going on. Like blindly looking for a support, but breaking a lamp slash vase in the process, but we just carry on after having a brief laugh. Know what I mean? To find a woman that will love me, and that I can love back. I see John Cena in the street. He's looking tall. Big. Handsome and incredibly manly. He's all sweaty and his massive arms are pumping through his tight t-shirt. He approaches me, grabs my hand and takes me to his house. He starts gently playing with me. He lets me touch his muscles, and I'm slowly sliding my fingers under his t-shirt to touch his abs. As soon as I relax and start getting hard he takes control and gets wild. He rips off all of my clothes and starts tossing me around. He throws me to his bed and tumbles down on me with his full weight. I can feel his huge mass on top of me, and I can hardly breathe. He starts flexing his muscles and I can see him tearing his t-shirt in half to reveal his huge muscular chest and abs. He starts wrestling with me, and manhandles me like a dominant alpha male. I try to hit him, but he quickly catches my leg, pins me down, and wraps his arms around my head. This beast is nearly twice my size, and he is crushing me with his whole weight. He's clutching my left leg in his tight grip and I feel like he's going to snap me in half. He's screaming with his deep masculine voice. I try to break free and fight, but I feel helpless. It's getting so hot, and we are both sweating. I try to move his massive arms and he just laughs. I almost start seeing stars as I feel the lack of air and this hot monster bending my body out of shape. He then finally lets me go, and tells me to run. But as soon as I stand up and start running, he catches me, picks me up, and carries me on his wide shoulders like a giant. He starts a workout using me as a gym bar. He pins me down, and I'm lying on my back. Then he does push-ups on top of me, and I can feel the heat of his huge body every time he goes down. I can see sweat dripping down his chest and his abs. I can see the veins on his massive muscles. His arms are so huge it looks like they are going to explode. He's looking at me like a wild predator, and I enjoy being his toy. Punish me daddy. He stands up. Lifts me with his hands and suddenly I can feel my head spinning round and my body hitting his bed as I hear him yelling you can't see me. He flips me around and soon I feel the touch on my butt. He's entering me. Deeper and deeper. He's rock hard, and it's getting more and more painful. He's going slowly but it still hurts so much. The pain turns into enjoyment as he's penetrating me, and screaming like a huge animal. It feels like he's going to break me into pieces. He's absolutely violent and unstoppable. I almost pass out as he's ripping everything inside of me. He lets out one last shout and I feel him ejaculating into me. I'm still so hard. He smiles looking exy as hell, and puts my peen into his mouth. Playing with it like a lollipop. It's getting more and more intense. I jokingly sing John Cena suax, and he gets furious. Stands up and pounds his cunkles onto my face. He then flips my body around, and wraps his legs around my waist. His thighs are so huge and muscular. They are nearly the size of my waist. I can feel the texture of his abs and chest resting against my back. He wraps his bicep and forearm around my neck and starts doing a hand job with his other arm. His big manly fingers are playing with my package. He screams fap. Fap fap. In my ear and I'm so aroused I feel like I'm going to die. My penis so hard it feels like it's going to explode. I'm feeling that unstoppable flow inside of me and then it bursts uncontrollably like a volcano. I ejaculate into his hand. He sets me free and rubs his chest and abs with my semen. He grabs me with his hands and tells me to lick his body. His muscles are glowing in sweat in my cum. I'm licking the valley between his pecs and feel the taste of it. He almost suffocates me by pressing my face against his hot sweaty chest. He's bouncing his pecs and flexing his biceps. 
I worship every inch of his front body. He relaxes. Closes his eyes and falls asleep on top of me. I can feel, being crushed by his huge muscle mass, and there's no way to escape. No one can save me, but I don't want to be saved. I want to stay like this forever. I'm feeling the strength and warmth of his body passing into mine, and I fall asleep. I open my eyes in the morning, and I'm alone in this bed. Every piece of my body is hurting, but I feel calm and comfortable. I stand up, and start looking for him, but I can't find him anywhere. I can't see him. BJ Sandwich. My wife and some other hot chick. An orgy of pure love. Like not just an orgy, to say you did it. But to have like 10, 15 really close friends who all know each other, and are comfortable with each other, and can confide in each other. Completely judge free of one another, would be awesome. That one guy's dead wife, while she was alive though. To be pinned down, and for my partner to just take what he wants. Like. One time I was teasing him by not letting him kiss me, and he held my hands above my head, and forced me to kiss him, and it was the hottest thing. Thinking about it now is driving me crazy. I'd also love for him to come in me, but we really don't need slash can't have a kid RN. So even though I'm on the pill I still, have him pull out. Have a fully be threesome with me a guy and a girl. Well I'm a BDSM switch so, mine would have to be torturing the ever living duck out of a sub, and then having them suddenly switch on me as a revenge move. But stuff in a semi cold, slightly humid room with the lights on. Cloning my husband, so we can have a threesome. A million dollars. Then I could get two chicks to double up on a dude like me. Getting plowed by two guys. They can high five each other to IDC. A hug from a woman that truly cares about me. Big titty goth girl dominating me is my dream. Coming home to my big girlfriend and she's already mid up with another big girl. I hop in, and disappoint them both. It mainly, love, man I hope you all get it. We all deserve it. Add X. Degradation. One of my fantasies is being used by multiple men all taking turns pissing on me, and calling me a dirty slut. Also CNC. It's just funny, because I'm the token innocent Asian girl, and when I told my best friend about my ultimate fantasy, he was so surprised, and basically flipped his it. Streaking through the sprinklers on a summer night with a so. I break into Tiffany's at midnight. Do I go for the vault? No. I go for the chandelier. It's priceless. As I'm taking it down, a woman catches me. She tells me to stop. It's her father's business. She's Tiffany. I say no. We make love all night. In the morning. The cops come, and I escape in one of their uniforms. I tell her to meet me in Mexico. But I go to Canada. I don't trust her. Besides. I like the cold. 30 years later. I get a postcard. I have a son and he's the chief of police. This is where the story gets interesting. I tell Tiffany to meet me in Paris by the Trocadero. She's been waiting for me all these years. She's never taken another lover. I don't care. I don't show up. I go to Berlin. That's where I stash the chandelier. To be held down and ducked by someone bigger than me. They leave bite marks all over my neck and shoulders. They don't let me come and keep stopping just before I come, until I'm a needy, mushy brained mess. Then I can come. And I have to clean up my partner with only my tongue. Make sure to like and subscribe so we can watch together.